Is it just me or am I? I mean, you tell me. Shut up and listen! Somebody tells me I'm going to die! In any case, though, and I say this from the bottom of my fucking heart, welcome back. <laughs> Welcome one and all to the most underrated rep show in all of YouTube. Welcome to Spot the Libra. As you can see, I got myself a new haircut today. Okay, I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a very huge problem. A massive problem. And it's about this country. It's about America. My country is of the sweet land of misery of the ice sting. Well, I mean, it might as well be, but let me, let me explain something to you, okay? We have the fourth largest economy of 215 nations on this planet. Only Russia, China, and Saudi Arabia outrank us. But we also have the worst educational system out of 215 nations. Because we won't accept the fact that there are actually 51 states in America. Not 50 like we've been lied to our whole lives. The 51st state in question, of course, is Washington, D.C. So I have a huge, massive problem. Angela Merkel of Germany up an entire continent. She could apologize and close the borders before it's too late. Will she do that? No, because of course it's too late. Europe is too far gone. Bye-bye, Europe. Bye-bye. We barely knew ye. And we elect people who never had a single solitary care in the world about you and I. We are stupid enough to elect people who have never earned an honest penny or had a job in the entirety of their lives. And you mean to tell me that we are going to allow these people to stay in political office for 40, 50, 60 years? Look at what happened with John McCain! The Republican traitor, who wasn't really a Republican, but more a Democrat in Republicans' clothing. You know what happened to him? He killed himself. Suicide by stupidity was the cause. Because 40 years before he died, when he knew he had a choice to make, he chose very poorly. He chose poorly. And became a politician instead of an ambassador to the military, like his dad and his grandfather were. So to that, I pay my respects to Admiral John McCain III, not the senator of the same name, which, by the way, are the exact same person, by the way. They go one and one. They go with one another. 
Chuck Schumer has never had a job in his life and has stayed in political office since 1975. When you elect people who have no understanding whatsoever of the labor market in any solitary capacity, this is how you know that we as an American race, as a nation, have completely shit the bed. And in some states, I'm afraid to say, they are outlawing guns. Sharia law is slowly taking over this country. We're not doing a damn thing about it. And it's sad. For a nation who is the fourth wealthiest on earth, we should at least invest some of our money on ammo to protect ourselves from the corrupt government that we allowed to take over our lives. Do we do that? No. No. Because we're too stupid to know the difference between a politician and an actual human being. You know, we could stop school shootings, right? We could find that one single cure-all to stop school shootings. You know, all those thousands of unemployed, trained military vets, 28 of which kill themselves every day because the government has outed them. What if we used three of them? in every single school, to arm those three veterans in every school, to make sure that our children, when we take them to school, will be in good hands knowing that someone who has been on the battlefield has got their back. No school bully or school shooter in the world would be able to fend themselves off against those guys. Kind of like what happened to Venezuela. You know, you know, America is what Venezuela was 70 years ago when they elected that absolute piece of trash, Castro. I don't know if it's Fidel or Hugo or whoever the hell it was. Basically, when they elected Nicolas Maduro, they gave up all of their guns seven years ago to where now they are being shot dead by Nicolas Maduro and the socialist government that is killing their people off one by one every moment of every day. And yet these people want to come to our nation and invade upon our soil. Bullshit. You people deserve everything that you get. Change it. So, we have people like Chelsea Clinton who have the unfortunate distinction of being born to a rapist and a serial killer and they say that marijuana kills. No, they don't. Marijuana only kills people if they abuse it on a frequent habitual basis. Marijuana doesn't kill people. Unless the people allow themselves to kill themselves with marijuana. 
47 years has the war on drugs gone and it's a lost cause I'm sorry to say it it's a lost cause it was a lost cause when it first came about it's still a lost cause now something that started that's a lost cause should never be started and Julian Assange is in exile and in constant fear of his life because like myself he has the nuts to speak the God's honest truth when no one else will Julian fucking Assange WikiLeaks revealed to us many 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 documents of Hillary Clinton's, which she still says that she destroyed. Not all of them. Not all of them. Because he knew that the only candidate that was good enough for the presidency of the United States in 2016 was Donald John Trump Sr. You didn't know his son was his namesake, did you? Well, you do now. Congratulations. The point I'm trying to make in all this is very simple. The difference between McDonald's and the Democratic Party is about as clear-cut as can be. At McDonald's, one clown runs the whole damn show. In the Democratic Party, a hundred of those clowns run the show and they can't even run a show they can't even book a show they can't even book themselves out of bed in the morning and yet you mean to tell me that people like Jane Fonda should be praised for saying things like I swear that American flag is my doormat. I hate everything about this country. Well, Jane Fonda, we hate you too, and we wish you were dead. Okay, I've got a, I've got a very, 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 very clear story to tell you all. Also, notice my haircut. My hair got cut today. I had somebody, I had somebody cut my hair today. Good friend of mine. And no, it's not the same barber that I go to. Different one. Very good friend. Very hard work. So, picture this. A woman is raped and impregnated by her rapist. She calls the police. And the police, instead of doing their job and arresting the rapist that impregnated her, they arrest the victim of the rape who was raped and impregnated by the rapist, and they kill her. You think this would be some Islamic shithole country somewhere in the Middle East or in South America or any other nation but America, right? Wrong. This actually happened in Texas. Texas! Texas. And that's in the United States, by the way. So, when you consider everything out, when you, when you filter the bullcrap out, and you filter the truth in, when you take the truth in, science will tell you, just like Jesus said, that you need air, you need water, you need food, and you need light to survive. That's one thing that science and Jesus Christ have in common, right? Right! Ha <laughs> ha
What are you doing? And you know what? You know what? With a nation that is made up of 330 million people, actually, it's not 330 million people, it's more like 290 million. Because 40 million of these people were either smuggled here by their parents who illegally forced them to immigrate here. Or they illegally invaded this American soil themselves. We're supposed to be the melting pot, right? Well, if people started coming in through a port of entry for once, maybe we would be a melting pot. But what we are now, we're just melting. We're not a melting pot anymore. Now we're just melting. We're melting into complete anonymity. So, 290 million natural born citizens or legal immigrants of America. Less than a million of those 290 million are watching CNN. Because. They are less relevant than HGTV, the Food Channel, Boomerang, Disney Channel, and Public Access. And yet there are still a million people who still fall for this shit. Unacceptable! And then you people want to believe that Bernie Sanders is the good guy. He's not a good guy. He's right up there with Satan's right hand man. Jacob fucking Rothschild. And you mean, you mean to tell me that there is one antichrist in this world? No, there's not. There's more like 300 of them. And they are all within a committee of 300 whose main mission is to destroy the entirety of the human race, meaning us and inevitably themselves. It gets better. So many people in this nation who fall for the Jacksonian deceit are hypocrites. They are hypocrites. They bash capitalism on their iPhones while drinking their Starbucks. And if that weren't bad enough, you have a Democratic presidential candidate from the absolute sex slave industry shithole that is California named Eric Swalwell, I can't believe I'm going to mention him, who has recently called to repeal the Second Amendment, to take our guns away from us, so that we can become the next Venezuela. Sorry to say this to all you people, but we are Venezuela now. Except... We're much better than Venezuela could ever be. We are what Venezuela will never be, a republic. And you mean to tell me that Eric Swalwell would be a decent president? No, he won't. Hillary Clinton, you thought she was your president. Guess what? She's not any of our presidents. She's not even the president of make-believe world. So, that brings me now to another question. And that question is, what is collusion? 
three years, three years, they waste hundreds of millions of dollars of your money that you work for 20 hours a day, seven days a week, in many cases, on a Comey con job that many people still mistake to this day as the Mueller probe, which it's not. It's the Comey con job! That piece of shit was Attorney General once. The head of the FBI. James fucking Comey. The reason why I do spot the liberal is simple. I am passionate about the patriotism of this nation. I try to warn you people about the fucking bullshit that you're still, after 207 years, allowing to happen. Because you're bystanders. You won't, you won't do anything about it. You're bystanders. You're too scared to do anything about it. Why don't you just take a risk? Take a risk! Collusion, and I'm reading this from my smartphone verbatim, is when an attorney, is when an attorney general, James Comey, former head of the FBI, meets secretly with the spouse of a person under investigation, namely... Donald Trump's wife, Melania. Collusion is when media personnel provides questions in advance to benefit the Democrats over the Republicans in a debate. Do you remember who was guilty of that? The head of the DNC. At that time, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. No relation to a Nazi general named Edwin Schultz because he didn't have that T in his last name. I feel sorry for the guy who created Peanuts. Kalush is when the Democratic Nazi committee conspires with one candidate, Hillary Clinton, in a primary to block the others in that primary, namely Bernie Sanders, you know, Faith Spotted Eagle, you know, that Native American that ran for president in 2016? Yeah, that person. That Faith Spotted Eagle. That Native American. There are only four million of them left in this nation. All because of what Andrew Jackson did during his presidency. Trail of Tears? That didn't work. Because even in death, he is still responsible for more deaths than almost any other human being in history. During his presidency and since his death, he has been responsible for 100 million Native Americans dying. Collusion is when government officials, a.k.a. the mainstream media, leak classified information to the politically correct police. They are not the mainstream. They are the politically correct police. Sucking that rough sound, pain. That's all they do. Collusion is when an FBI director hands out immunity to persons involved in a criminal investigation and permits them to destroy evidence and doesn't play key suspects and witnesses other oath nor records their responses in an interview or disposition.
or should I say deposition, because that's clearly the last word here on my small. You can read it. You say, look, look. You cannot tell me that's not collusion. You know, most people born after 2000 will never understand how good they have it. People that were born between 82 and 2000, like myself, will never quite understand how good we have it. Because, unfortunately, many of us are too stuck on our smartphones to give a damn. Except when people like me are told to get off our smartphones and work, we work. We get off our smartphones, we get up off of our asses, and we work. And I work from home. So this guy told his teenage niece to go get her, to go get him a newspaper. She laughed at him and said, Oh, uncle, you are so old. Just use my phone. So he did. He slammed her phone against the wall to kill a spider. That is justice. Respect your elders. Bottom line, respect your elders. It gets it gets even better somehow. Somehow it gets better. Planned Parenthood consists of people from Hamas and ISIS and Al Qaeda and the Muslim Brotherhood. And someone like Kermit the Frog will ask them, So you stopped having sex because you can't get an abortion? Think about that for a minute. Take your time. Terrible Kermit the Frog person. Jim Henson is probably vomiting in his grave right now. Ugh. So, here's the thing. Before you open your mouth, think. And I'm not talking about the song composed by Merv Griffin that serves as the theme song to the long-running Corso Jeopardy, which was first hosted by Art Fleming in the 1960s and 70s, and then brought back in 1984 with Alice Trebek as host, and it's been running for 35 years. I'm talking about, think about whether or not it's truthful, helpful, inspiring, necessary, or kind. T-H-I-N-K. Think. Think before you speak. These are the people that you elect to Congress, everybody. You could stop electing these people and put them in their rightful places in prison where they belong! But you don't want to do that. Your funeral, not mine. Because to a mind that is still, the entire universe surrenders. You have to have a still mind to overcome any situation, no matter what happens. And yet there are too many feminists out there, the, the Ann Coulters, the Megyn Kellys of the world, the Jane Fondas, the Barbara Walters of the world that want to say that a baby is a female body. No, it's not. A baby is not a female body part. A baby is your child. Which none of you should have had, by the way. All you feminists out there. Should have never allowed your kids to be born. This is why they're as dumb and inbred as they are now. Because you allowed yourselves to have a Democrat screw you in bed one night without a con. Unprotected. This is still the reason why we've had the Mari show now for the last 20 years. So keep that in mind.
the future citizen of the world deserves rights and is not feminists out there your right to pick and choose you don't get to pick and choose in this situation the future citizen of a world which they will inherit deserves rights and is not your own female organ to pick and choose because I like what you've been saying. Well, it's my body. It's my right. It's not my... It is your baby. And it's not just your body. It's the baby's body, too. Bear that shit in mind. And the resemblances of those two people compared to those two Muppets that you see right here is astoundingly accurate. So, if you ever wanted a lesson on what evil really is, look no further than the Democratic Nazi Party. Look no further than that, people. And if you look any further than that, you'll end up in the gates of hell and you won't be back anytime soon. I guarantee it. So, I thank you for spending about 32 minutes of your time watching this shit. And... I'm actually going to pay homage to Metro Goldwyn Mayor, who will be celebrating its 100th anniversary officially as Metro Goldwyn Mayor in 2024. Have a good day, sleep tight tonight, and God bless. This episode of has been brought to you by God.